Right here I am with Phil the Power Taylor, 15 times champion of the world, 12 time match play champion. Phil, it was not nearly possible 13 last night. That was a, that was a bit of a, a game to be involved in first round. It was. I was, I was very nervous, I'll be honest. I was very nervous. Um, started thinking about my new dart. My, dart, my new dart are brilliant and uh, started thinking about it, which I shouldn't do really, you know, I'm, I'm an old pro so shouldn't be doing that. But it, it, it come good in the end, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't on panic stations until I went eight each. When I was eight, six up and I should have gone to nine then and then I started panicking a little bit. Well Mervyn had three darts at 24 that mm. could have turned the match on his head. But as champions do, they take their chances, yeah. like you did, and he didn't. And uh, right. that was end of. Mm. That really was. But in the second round, you have now got Ian White, who you played yes. in the 1997 uh, News of the World final. That's right, that's right. From Stoke? From Aston Villa. It was Aston Villa, yeah. Um, well, he's been, we've been practising together, me and Ian did, for a, for a short while, down, down at his place. And he's very, very good. And he's a lovely kid as well. So. Being honest, if I was going to lose to anybody, then I wouldn't mind if it was him. But I don't want to lose, don't no. get me wrong. But I hope he, you know, he's, he's a good lad, he's good for the game. Nice person. Good stuff, Phil Taylor talking of losing. And I, I don't want to bring it up again, <laughs> but the world number one is, is it's under threat. Looming. It's, it's under threat. But if you, win, on. if you win, then it's a done deal, it's yours again. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm still number one, so... But it, it, it's... You know, I've been number one for I don't know how many years, but I'll, I'll be trying. Going back to your change of darts, mm. what, what brought that on? Why did Unicorn. you fancy? Unicorn made them for me, asked me to try them, um, sent me two or three different styles, and uh, that was the one I liked. And it's not really a, a million miles off what I used before anyway, so I don't mind them, you know, and, they, and they're going in well. Yeah, they seem quite similar to the Sigmas that, that you, yeah. you gave a try. Yeah, yeah, and I, I'm, I'm enjoying them, so I'm going to go back in a minute and have another practice. Get ready, obviously, get ready for Thursday and, and just keep pushing on, you know. It's, it's only in your mind, really. It's nothing, the darts are perfect. It's just yeah. me. Good stuff. And your uh, your fitness regime? Still, I've been you... off the fitness regime for about six weeks. I pulled me back. I've been seeing an osteopath, so I've been off it for a while. And then after Blackpool now, I can get back into it to get, and give it a big push for the World Championships. And that's not affecting your throw in any way? It does, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, because my back starts aching a little bit. I pulled it. But I, I can, you know, push on now. I've seen osteopathic, everything's clicked in and everything's back to normal. So I can push on now after the after Blackpool. Right, on Twitter, at Betfair Sports, you guys, hashtag Ask the Power, have been asking the, this guy all sorts of questions. And the first one, Phil, is what is the weirdest thing you've ever thrown a dart at? Thrown a dart at? Um, polo mint. Polo mint. I was asked to put a dart in a polo mint, then I did it without smashing it. You did it, yes. and it went through the, went hole, through the in hole in the polo. Yeah. Well, I've tried it, and I failed. I can tell you that. I did it, and it was a fluke. <laughs> Total fluke. Tried it. I've tried it 20 times after, and it just goes boosh everywhere. <laughs> but when it needed to go in, you the done first it. time I did it. Yeah, swear down. <laughs> that is... And it was in Fraser Hills pub. That is typical Taylor. Yeah, believe yeah. me. Yeah. Do you have any superstitions or pre-match rituals that you stick by every single time? No, not really. The only the only ritual I would have, I would get here maybe three hours early. I'd, I'd have one hour where I can do my bits of interviews and stuff for Sky, and then two hours to get ready. That's that's the only thing, really. I'm, I'm very spot on time, very regimental with that. So that's just more preparation rather yeah. than superstition? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Another question. If you could be a professional at any other sport, apart from darts, what would it be? At the moment, without a shadow of a doubt, is golf. Definitely. I don't play golf now, but yes, because the money is fantastic. And, and, and I'd have an helicopter in a plane, <laughs> in a big house. Well, I've got a big house, but I'd have, I'd have everything. You don't, you don't have a Learjet somewhere parked in your back garden? Not yet. <laughs> what other job would, would you have taken up, possibly, that if you wasn't as uh, successful as you've been on the hockey? What would I have been doing as a job? Um, I'd probably be, be in the building trade. You know, the, the job I used to do was gone, and then I used to help weekends, I used to help friends in the building trade, so I probably would have been doing something along them lines, and nothing skillful really, just labouring probably. Getting by, just like you're doing now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know really. I was going to be a gynaecologist, but I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't tall enough. Right, another question that's a bit, bit off the wall. When setting up a darts team, what should people prioritise? Wild shirt design. Like yours. Like mine. 
alcohol tolerance, or just plain good darts accuracy? If I was setting a dart team, I mean, there were young kids coming through, I would definitely uh, not I would recommend any alcohol at all. If they can, play without it. You know what I mean? Keep, keep the drink out altogether. That would be the first one for me. I think that would be my priority. And then obviously it's practice and dedication because I don't think they, they need it. Best of the youngsters today, they seem to have more confidence in, the, in themselves. So that's, that would be mine. And the wild shirt design like mine just out? No, yet. no, more outrageous. <laughs> no, I like the shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. Cheers. Right, now this is a question I've been wanting to ask you for a long, long time. Yeah. If you was a superhero, who would you be? Who would I be if I was a superhero? Superman, definitely. Why? Because he's got everything. <laughs> he can see through things, he can got x-ray vision, he's got laser eyeballs and he's strong and he can fly and so I don't need a plane. <laughs> If you have the other one, you've only got one thing. Who would you be? I would be Batman. Batman? <laughs> what, Ted Hankey? Well, there you go. Ted, Ted, Ted Hankey. Phil Taylor would like to be Superman. Simple. Betfair Sports. I want to thank everyone for sending their questions in to Ask the Power. And uh, you've got the answers you wanted from the main man himself. Honest as well. <laughs>